Morning guys, we are back on the boat this morning. It's nice to be back. And uh, today we are going to be putting a temporary roof on here so that we can actually wrap the boat. So we want to wrap this, obviously beginning of October now, we want to get this wrapped for the winter. That will give us a nice dry boat that we can work on over the winter and we won't be affected by the weather so much. We can get the windows out and get those all refinished and resealed. So yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to build a wooden frame uh, across the top here and then that will hang down and we'll be able to get a wrap then and we'll be able to get down our companionways nice and safe and uh, no chance of us falling off and then we also just need to remove the roof as well uh, get that off get that frame in place and then we'll be able to come in probably we've got the wrap coming hopefully in the next couple of days so within the next few days we'll be able to get it heat shrink wrapped and then we'll be good for the winter so let's get straight into it Okay guys, so we've just ripped down this timber here that was six by two, so we've ripped that down to three by two. That's nice tantalized timber with uh, its planed edges, so that's really good. Uh, so what we're gonna do now, get this roof off. Okay guys, so the roof is off. We're gonna leave these bars on for now. We can remove those later. We just wanna concentrate on getting this frame in today. And then what we've done is just cleaned up this area here. And then what we're gonna do now is just build some uprights that come out of these corners. Another one to go here. And then we've got one to go on the back. One on this side as well. And then we can basically build a frame or roof structure across the top here and that'll actually go out over the side of the boat and we'll probably finish it level with those rails there and then we'll be able to just wrap straight down and that'll give us that nice safe walkway that we need. So uh, let's get those bits of timber cut. So all our rails have cut, we've got all of our uprights here, uh, we've got some cross beams here so they'll go across the boat and then we've got two lengths here which will actually run the length of the boat on the outside of the walkways just up here and then we've got a, a spare piece as well just in case we need it. So we'll get that all loaded up onto the boat and then we can get the frame screwed into place. Bye. 
Okay guys, we've got a frame. It's not pretty, but it's doing the job. And we've uh, just put some foam back here, just to protect the gel coat. And we've done the same on the feet as well. So just popped a little bit of packing foam under here. And we've done the same wherever we're touching the hull. So just try not to cause any damage. And you can see here that our rails go out and they're pretty much in line with the outside rails here. So we can be able to walk down there nice and safely. It'd be so much better. We've been worried about, to be honest with you, one of us having a fall. In fact, Richard did recently have a fall down the steps. So it's certainly uh, something that we needed to do. So this is gonna be a lot better for us. So we've got uh, some uh, shrink wrap arriving tomorrow. So hopefully if that turns up, we'll be able to get it wrapped. Okay guys, it's a couple of days later. It's a beautiful morning and uh, our wrap has arrived in our heat gun so we can get this wrap today. But before we do that, we just need to put a center rail in here. We're gonna put an upright down here the center rail will just be raised slightly so that will give us a fall so the rain hopefully will then fall off either side and then just a center post down here and i think we'll probably put a center post also actually inside the boat as well just in case we get any snow or anything like that with any weight on the roof that will just make sure that that can support that so we just need to rip down a couple more pieces of this timber and we can get those into place Okay guys, so we've finished our frame. We've put in a crossbar here, and we've got this support at the back here, and then we've just been around and just put in some cross braces everywhere. We think it just needs a bit of additional strength. You can see here, and we've done it at the front as well. And then we've got this center post here as well, which is just holding up that middle, uh, just in case we get any snow or anything on it. And then what we've done is we've used the tractor to bring up the heat shrink, and then we've hired this uh, gas powered heat shrink gun and Rich is just over there just grabbing a, a gas bottle so what we'll do is we'll get this heat shrink pulled over the top of the boat and we'll get it shrink wrapped into place
Okay, so we've tucked all our wrap underneath. So we've basically got the strap across here and then we've tucked it underneath. And then that means we'll be able to weld that with the heat gun. And we've done that on both sides. We've still got the back to do, but um, we obviously still need to go, be able to get inside the boat. So we've left that for now. And then we've got our gauntlets just here and also a heat gun, which we've, uh, we've actually hired this. And then we've got a uh, can of, uh, or a bottle here of propane, which we can just move around on the tractor as we need to. It's quite a heavy bottle, so we'll just move that around on the tractor. So we'll get that all hooked up and we'll get the heat gun set up and we'll start to melt these uh, sides together. <laughs> finally have a wrap boat so this is two days of work for us we've never wrapped a boat before I'm sure somebody who's does this professionally could do it a lot quicker but we got there in the end and this is loads better now so we can walk down this see this walkway now this is all nice and tight so there's no chance of us falling off we've got good access to the roof which means we can paint this top we're looking at changing the color of this top to black which is what how some of the other factory boats were done and looks really smart so yeah we've got great access and of course we're dry for the winter so this should carry us through hopefully till probably march april next year get this top painted i'm going to take these windows out that's one of our upcoming jobs and um, and then we can get this cover off next year and we can carry on but yeah really pleased with that so all we're going to do now is the boat is a bit of a mess to be honest with you we've got quite a lot of green going on here we will need to move that battery down into the engine bay and we've got all sorts of rubbish that we've collected over the months. So we're just gonna give this a nice clean so that we've got a nice deck to work on.
Okay, we've just found a little job we need to do before we wet all this area down and clean it. We've got two manual bilge pumps here, brand new bilge pumps, and these just need fixing into place. Um, just so that there's a seal on the bottom of these and that will just seal this area then, and then we'll be okay to wash all this. So we'll get these fixed into place quickly, there's four screw holes, get those fixed into place, and then we can get everything washed down. We have a clean cockpit so that's looking a lot better not perfect we still got some marks on these hatch covers here and a few little marks on the gel coat which will hopefully buff out and any scratches or little scrapes will will repair those but overall that's looking a lot lot better now so what that will mean is next time we'll be able to come in i think the next job is to remove these windows on either side at the moment we can't do that because unfortunately i ordered the wrong size door in the heat shrink so we need a six foot door so we're going to get one of those on order and then we'll be able to get the windows out and through that little hole and then what we'll do is we're going to sort out all of this sealant around the front of the windscreen get that all raked out and cleaned and then i think the next job after that will be to paint this hole roof structure we're going to go for black so uh, yeah but that's gonna be a project for another day so hope you enjoyed today's video guys if you did give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one